Hello folks, welcome back to MTG AI Tournaments. Now today we're going to be continuing our MTG AI Progressional Series with our old school tournament. This is the final match, I believe, of the first round bracket before moving to the second round, third round, semifinals, and finals in this old school format tournament. Remember, we're going through every set in Magic History, beta through, well, whatever the, the newest set is as we go as we get to the newest. And... Um, along the way, we'll go through all the different formats during their time. For example, if we once we get all the way down the cons of Tarkir, we'll have that standard format. If we get to the start of the modern format in 2011, we'll play that. So we'll kind of go through all everything uh, in Magic History, which is going to be kind of cool, and draft formats when, when we start Mirage. Now, we are going to be seeing here, we're going to be seeing blue-green aggro, I'll switch that one up. Uh, blue green aggro versus white go wide. Now, blue green aggro is, well, a blue and green aggro deck. We have two scavenger folk here, which has actually done some quite a quite good jobs, or quite a good job. That's English. <laughs> uh, it's been doing quite a good job against decks that are playing cards like Nevernal's Disc, Saving Creatures. We have Llanowar Elves, Pixies, so a nice two drop there that sometimes can be unblockable. Not many artifact creatures though, so um, possibly though, because I think the the deck before this was artifact based. Both decks were, so it could actually be useful if they make it through this round. And we have Serendip Freet, which has it deals some damage on the upkeep, which can kill the player sometimes, but most of the time this is just a big flyer. We have Juggernaut, which I don't think we've seen yet. We have Ernam de Jin, which we've seen a couple times. In fact, I kind of messed up the thumbnail, I noticed, because uh, we used this artwork for the Arabian aggro deck, and then we also used it for another deck. Um, so, yeah. Might change the thumbnail there, um, if I remember. Then we have If Bith Afrit, which basically is a 3-3 flyer in green, which is interesting, and it can deal 1 damage to each creature with flying and each player. Now you have... Two Leviathans. We haven't seen this card yet. Segovian Leviathan. Yet again, another Legends card, so let's pray that it works. And it has Island Walk, so partial evasion, I guess. Again, this is really old, so you can have a lot of mediocre cards like this paired with Time Walk and Time Twister, for example, and Ancestral Recall. So yeah, Power 9 galore here. We have two Crumble to take out Artifact, Soul Ring, Regrowth. So if, if Blue Green Aggro win, these Crumbles are going to come... And handy. Um, so I believe the Black Artifacts deck won last time. I'm not exactly sure. I think so though. And that would be their opponent if this deck makes it through. We have Psionic Blast, Triple Ice Storm, and Time Twister, as I said. We got some lands here. Now we have Mistress Factory. We have Tropical Island Playset, Teleria, and Pendle Haven. Copy of each. Strip Mine, Maze of If, City of Brass, Library of Alexandria, and Alexandria, and Forest Islands. Now for our white go wide deck here, very interesting deck here. A lot of cards we haven't seen. Uh, we have Tundra Wolves, Acacian Javelineers, Savannah Lions. So a bunch of one drop aggressive creatures here. We've got Order of Liaber, which is Liaber, sorry, which is basically a white knight. Um, but yeah, basically a white knight. But instead of having first strike, you can gain first strike. But it can also get bigger um, through pump, so that's pretty cool. And then we see White Knight, and we have Mesa Pegasus. So one mana 1-1 one, one flyer, but with Crusade and Army of Allah, um, they could definitely become much better than that. We have two Disenchants here, two Swords of Contrast, Mox Pearl, as well as a, a, a two copies of Preacher here. So this can gain control of Creatures. Um, but it, but the opponent gets to choose with AI. I think that's going to be kind of better here is as they probably will choose the creature with the lowest toughness or lowest mana cost, which might not always be the best choice. Uh, we see Armageddon here. Um, always nice to ruin the game. Uh, then you have Maze of Ith, Mishra's Factory, um, tons of planes. I don't see Caracas here, interestingly, but tons of planes. Or Caracas, I guess is how you say it. And then a shirt line. So yeah, we're going to jump right into the games right now. 
Okay, so we're into the game, and something has returned that I know a few of you guys have liked in the comments. I've heard uh, that you guys, I've heard, seen a couple comments of how you guys like the sound effects and how the noises were kind of funny and retro sounding. So those are back. So hopefully they don't, they aren't, they're not too loud over my voice. Um, just this, I play, of course, myself in this application. So sometimes it can get a little wonky. But yeah, uh, double keep at seven. We see three planes, vacation Javelineers, Tundra Rules, one drops, white knight. So it looks like they're gonna be uh, white go Y is gonna be able to curve out. And then we see just a mock sapphire and a black lotus, which is a mana. It's four mana, so you could get a turn one a freak, which could be really good, or a turn one a juggernaut, which is even uh, better. But yeah, probably. And then you got regrowth. So pretty cool start here. Just gonna need to see some lands, and we're gonna see a black lotus, mock sapphire. We're gonna see what they're gonna play. They might not play anything. No, they're gonna play the juggernaut. Big turn one win, and they're going to need. I'm going to turn down the volume real quick of the application, but they're going to need uh, at least the mono white deck a way to stall this real quick. All right, I turned down the volume a little bit. Hopefully, it doesn't overpower my voice. Kishin Javelineers is going to be the play. Basically, this card's a 1-1 one, one creature, but it can remove, it has a javelin counter on it, which which you can deal one damage to any target. Yawn. <laughs> yeah, so Mock Sapphire, not going to do much here. 5 damage, getting in with the Juggernaut. Very useful there. Swords to Plowshares is going to take out the Juggernaut, so... Yeah, that plan has backfired pretty severely. And it looks like we're going to see Exile Juggernaut. Planes. Javelinier is going to get in for one. Tunter Rolls is going to drop and it passes the turn. Island is the draw. We're going to see that played. So, good thing I got a land. But no cards are able to be played here. We're going to see a Planes is the play. Getting some attacks in. I definitely play the White Knight over the Preacher. Um, but they're probably going to play the Preacher. AI usually plays, um, uses all their mana. City of Brass. And we're going to see Psionic Blast taking out the Preacher. And a pass of the turn. City of Brass is a good draw. They got lands now. And a Crusade is going to be very brutal. Crusade. And I feel like that's going to be the, the defining card of this deck. And a White Knight is going to hit the play. 3-3 three, three for a Striker. It's powerful in this situation. Protection for black doesn't mean anything. Because of course this deck isn't playing any black cards. But we do get to see probably a, a Freak. Yes. Freak is played here. You gotta be careful with that too because of City of Brass and Serenity of the Freak's upkeep. You'll see no attack though because it does stall with that 4 toughness. Well, he probably could have attacked with the White Knight and then Javelineered and then kind of got away with that. The AI probably would have fell for that, but that would mean that the White deck would have to be just a spark. Uh, Serenity of the is going to attack in. I definitely wouldn't have done that. Um, you going to get back the Black Lotus? No, just the Blast. Okay. We're going to see a big old attack here, putting them down to three. And White Knight, and it's... Yeah, that attack was not smart. Um, we're putting down the two. we got a Mox Enerald, so it's not going to matter much. As we're going to be seeing... Yeah, putting down to one in the Afraid, so you literally, even if they don't attack, you're still going to lose to the Afraid. So, unfortunate kind of, or just the Javelin here. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess, I guess it's kind of cool. We got to see a victory via Javelin here. Just throw that last Javelin in the game. 
pretty cool. Now we're gonna start the next game, and we see a start for the Blue Green Aggro deck. Mox Emerald and Island. Gonna be able to play a land or else, hopefully. Yep. And pass the turn. We're gonna see a Plains and either a Savannah Lions or Javelin here. We might see a Javelin here. Yeah. I'd assume that to take out that Land War Elves. Tying Twister is interesting. Um, but we're going to see. Yeah, that was not a great Tying Twister. Uh, a bunch of lands. Something that's not going to really do anything. And a crumble. Something that's pounding in the background. I don't know what it is. It's really annoying. <laughs> Hopefully it's not coming across on the microphone. Javelin here is going to deal damage to the ah! Lenoir Elves. Mox Pearl, Plains. We're going to see an order here. And a cast the turn. Leaving a Sword Splashers up for anything that can be played. Whirling Dervish. I didn't see this card in the deck. Or Tranquility. I don't remember seeing these. I'm going to have to go back and look. That's really weird. I do not remember seeing these two cards. Okay. Uh, it's very strange, to be honest. So the Plowshare is going to take care of that. We're actually going to look at it on camera. That's very strange. Yeah, this white deck is doing a lot of... Uh, Valeria is going to remove bands. Yay. It's going to do a lot. <laughs> it's on activation of Valeria. That's hilarious. Or something other than blue mana. It's actually super funny. And Serend of a Freak, yet again, a stalling card, but I have a feeling they're going to use the same mistake. And, uh... Just attack with that great yeah. And it take a lot of damage coming back. The Afrit is gonna be played, so possibly not. Ah! Do a lot of damage to Steph. Or I guess the just the Maze of Pegasus. No Maze of Ith yet, so or for the best. Uh it's gonna get in. Um probably because of threat of activation. But Serum of Freak is dealing a lot of damage. Tropical Island. I didn't. I don't remember seeing Tranquility or Whirling Dervish. Like I, I really don't remember seeing that in the deck. I might be crazy. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's, like I was thinking, like maybe sideboard, but my like, Time Twister doesn't shuffle the sideboards. So I don't. That's kind of weird. Planes. Crusade is brutal. Of course, that order of Leo Burr could pump, but uh, yeah, but okay. Guess not. We're gonna see an upkeep damage. And pass the turn. Javelineers is going to be the draw. The order is going to get in, but Mr. Factory is going to be activated uh, and blocking. Ah! Or, uh, sorry, and getting first strike. And Javelin here, just going to pass the turn. We're going to upkeep damage. That's going to end up killing Mr. Blue Green Aggro. That Javelin here also is a damage. They really got. What? They got to win this turn. I don't believe they're going to do that, because just going wide would end up killing them. Ernam de Jen is not going to be enough, I don't believe. You're going to have that. Um, maybe they get one more turn. Most likely here. Creatures going to play. Upkeep, one damage. Got to win this turn. It looks like they can't. Uh, they can't even crumble their own. Ox Emerald to gain life or anything, so yeah. Preacher's gonna take control of the Djinn, and they're just gonna attack and go wide. 
do exactly as the deck is named and win. So Mono White is going to move on to the next round. But before I end the video, usually I end it right after. I'm going to check out Blue Green Aggro. And yeah, they don't have Whirling Dervish or Tranquility in the deck. Why was it there? That is so... Sh I've never seen that before. Uh, let me check the sideboard. I could change... I think I can change section down here. Yeah, so it is in the sideboard. So I don't know what would have done that. Exactly. Of course, the decks don't sideboard. So I don't know exactly what did that. If you guys know, tell me in the comments. Um, but yeah, White Go Ride moves on to the next phase of the tournament. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.